Ngayon, pag-usapan natin ang how to write data analysis. So, what is data analysis? So, it is a process of understanding the collected data using a statistical treatment. This is for quantity and or thematic analysis for quality to come up with meaningful conclusion that satisfies your objective of study. So, ito yung proseso para maintindihan natin yung ating data. No? So, according to Baraceros, it's a process of understanding data or known facts or assumptions serving as the basis of any claims or conclusion you have about something. So, meron, um, kaparehasan sila ng gustong sabihin, na ito yung nag, ang data analysis ay nagpapakita kung paano mo intindihin o paano mo mak, paano ka makakam up ng conclusion so anong ginawa mo sa data mo para makakam up ka ng conclusion so yung yung ibig sabihin ng data analysis no so to come up with the conclusion whether yung yung objective ay tama or mali or para ma, ma conclude no ma, ma come up mo yung objective okay so how to write data analysis so ito yung mga questions no mga tanong na dapat mong um, sagutin para ka makasulat ng yung um, data analysis so ito yung mga tanong what is your objective what is your treatment or method in understanding the data and how will you get the conclusion from your treatment or method? So, unang-una, um, sa data analysis, no, balik ka dapat sa objective mo. So, ano yung objective mo na gusto mong solusyonan, na gusto mong isolve? No? So, balik ka doon. Then, what is your treatment? So, anong ginawa mo sa data? No? Para makakam up ka na, para mak up mo yung, conclusion, yung objective mo. No? Para ma-solve ma mo yung objective, objective mo. Okay, so next is how will you get the conclusion from your treatment? So, anong ginawa mo sa data? No, kung ito yung statistical tool or yung thematic analysis, yung statistical tool is for quantitative research. Ang yung thematic analysis naman is for qualitative research. No, So, mamili ka lang dyan kung quality or quanti yung, yung research. So, how will you get the conclusion from the treatment? So, ito yung tatlong tanong para makabuo ka ng data analysis. So, meron tayong halimbawa niyan mamaya. Okay? So, at, but first, no, siguro alam niyo naman siguro kung ano yung objective niyo. Um, Pag-usapan natin yung statistical tool. Ano yung mga statistical tool or thematic analysis? So, meron tayong example. So, some statistical tool, no? This is about quantitative research. So, for um, statistical tool, meron tayong tinatawag na correlational Descri correlate correlation so describes the relationship of two variables and also test the strength or significance of their linear relation so yung correlation is meron bang relasyon ang dalawa no so kung may relasyon ba yung um, syempre mer may relasyon ba yung gasolina at yung makina so syempre meron silang relasyon so so far sa magkasintahan may naapektuhan ba yung yung boyfriend sa actions ng girlfriend vice versa so yun yung correlation so maraming uh, kasi napapalibutan tayo ng relationship no so na, doon na na, na gagaid na measure natin kung gaano no, meron bang silang rela relasyon or relationship so about correlation meron tayong Spearman row meron chi square meron t test so sa Spearman row so measures the dependency of the dependent Two independent variable. Sa kaya square naman, test whether or not relationship exists between among variables and test whether caused by chance. Then sa t-test, the mean of the sample reflects the mean of the population where the sample was drawn. It also tests the difference of between two means. So, ito yung alim, uh, part no, ng correlation. So, iba-iba kasi yung mga situation kung Spearman Row yung gagamitin mo, yung chi-square ba or yung t-test ba. So, um, para malaman mo kung, ano, kung saan na bilong yung research mo, pumunta ka lang o mag-approach ka ng statistician, mathematician, kung saan na bilong yung, yung research. No? Kung ano yung statistical tool na dapat natin gamitin. Kasi, um, uh, meron kasing um, 
mga kaibahan nito. No? So, by the way, yung variable, ang ibig sabihin nito, yun yung mga gusto mong pag-aralan. No? So, ang meron dalawang variable, merong independent at saka yung dependent. So, yan lang. Then, meron din yung tinatawag na descriptive lang yung mean, median mode, central of tendency, measures of central tendency. Yun, pwede din yun. No? Sum, uh, sum lang kasi ito. So, maraming statistical tool. Meron din tayong tinatawag na regression so determine show determine how strong relationship of the variable are so so again no um para hindi ka malito sa statistical tool na gagamitin mo um just approach a mathematician or a statistician no or if you have some plenty of time pwede kang mag-research kung ano yung um statistical tool na gagamitin mo ngayon dito naman tayo sa thematic analysis for qualitative research so Sa qualitative research, meron tayong mga methods of collection of data. So, merong observation, merong interview, at merong questionnaire. So, sa qualito, no? It's about emotions, no? So, observation, so, interview and question. These are the basic procedures on how to collect data from the respondents, no? So, how how to data analyze the the uh, the, uh, the data from this uh, methods no of collection so here uh, meron tayong data analysis no meron tayong tinatawag na coding using symbols like letters or words to represent data so um kung meron napansin niyo na uh, magkatulad no magkatulad na magkatulad na sinasabi yung mga respondents mo o ginagawa base sa yung observation or sa interview or even sa question niya, meron silang makatulad na sinasabi, yun yung kunin mo na letter or yung, yung words or symbols para parang itali mo lang kung uh, ilan sila ang nagsabi nun. Yun yung tinatawag na coding. No? Kung ilang tao yung nagsabi ng ganun o naggumawa ng ganun. So, mayroon din tayong tinatawag na collating. collating. So, bringing together the coded data. So, lahat ng yung mga uh, nakuha na from coding, no, from yung mga themes, tinatawag natin kasi yan na themes, no, yung tema. No, ayun, ano yung gustong sabihin nila? Ano yung, yung ipapahiwatig nila? So, yung coding, um, kinukuha mo na yung, sa kolating, kinukuha mo na yung mga coded data na nagather mo. No, yung mga information, no, na nakuha mo. Okay? So, yan yung thematic analysis. No? They, how to data analyze the quality, qualitative research. So, meron tayong sample ng data analysis. So, ito yung sample ng data analysis sa pag-aralan ninyo. No? So, kung tingnan nyo mabuti, um, magkaiba kasi yung pattern ng bawat school, pero for sure, ito din yung um, format, no? Or yung nando doon sa yung uh, data analysis. So dito um meron kasi tatlong tatlong objectives yung uh, so, apat pala, apat na objective yung sample natin. So first is mention niyo muna yung um, objective niya, kung ano yung objective niya at paano niya ito isolve at ano yung instrument or statistical tool na gagamitin dito. Sa so, second, sa third at saka sa fourth. So ganyan lang, no. So, yan yung data analysis. So, pag-aralan nyo lang, so, you, you can pause this um, sample, then pag-aralan nyo kung para makagawa din kayo ng data analysis na para sa iyo. Okay? So, that's all. Thank you for listening and I hope you have learned something.